Hi, welcome back to the course. In the previous couple of videos, we have discussed about the one-to-one -one mapping in JPA. So if you observe carefully, so we are discussing with the employee and department. So inside the employee, we have a reference variable for the department. So whenever we get the employee object, we also get the department object. But if you look at the department class or the entity class, we do not have a reference variable for the employee, which means whenever we get the department object, we do not get the employee object, the associated employee object. So this is nothing but the unidirectional, which means there is only one way to access the department from the employee, but inside the department, we cannot actually get the employee object. So in order to get the objects in both the ways, in both the cases, then we have to go for the bidirectional. So in this video, let's see how we can achieve the bidirectional. So it's very simple. We are going to create a reference variable inside the department as well. So inside the department, we are going to create a new reference variable for the employee. So this will be employee. And we are going to add the same annotation, which is one to one. And we are going to add a one more option to this one to one mapping or the annotation, which is mapped by. And we are going to provide the field name, which we have mapped inside the employee. So inside the employee, we have mapped for the department field and that field is the department itself. Let's copy this, paste it. With this, let's save our changes. And now let's go to the controller. So we will go to the employee controller. So inside the employee controller, we have already written the post mapping and we are saving the employee object. Okay. So now let's actually fetch the department, the list of departments. And when we fetch the list of departments, we should also get the employee record. Okay. So for that, I have already created a separate response object. So let me open that department response. It is just a plain old Java object. It contains some private fields and setter and getters. So we have the ID and the department name and the employee name. And I have created this inside the separate package, which is response package. And now we have already created the department repository. Let's go to the department controller. So inside the department controller, let's actually write the handler method to fetch the list of departments. This is going to return the response object, the list of response object, department response, get departments. And inside this, we're going to make use of the department repository to call the find all method and this is going to return the list of department this will be departments so now we are going to create a empty list which is of type department response department response this will be list is equal to new array list and now we are going to loop through this departments that we have fetched from the repository. We are going to make use of the Lambda and inside this, we're going to create the department response object, department response, d response dot set department name d dot get name similarly d response dot set id d dot get id and d response dot set employee name that will be d dot get employee because inside the department we do not have the employee name we have to access through the employee object so get employee dot get name and then we're going to add this D response to the list.
and finally we are going to return the list all right so now let's save this our application is restarted let's go to the postman and I'm inside the create employee so let's go ahead and create a new employee I'm going to create with my name Bushan I'm an IT guy and click send we should get the response so the ID 3 name Bushan department is IT and the employee will be null okay this is fine no worries okay we should have created a new employee response but we haven't created the new employee response so that's why it is going as null okay so now let's go to the read departments and inside the departments right now there are three records I have already inserted the two records previously so let's click on this send we should get three records but we are getting some exception this is let's see slash api v1 slash departments okay let's go to the and let's check for department name and department i think we have missed something let's actually go to this departments okay i even not added the get mapping at all so let's add the get mapping this will be departments super so our application is restarted now let's go back to the postman and we should send the request we should get the three records that is the department civil and the employee name is Chaitra and the department name is IT the employee name is Bharat similarly the employee name is Bhushan and the department name is IT okay so we have created a separate response object for the department and similarly we should have created the employee response but I just go with the flow that's completely fine you can create a new employee response and you can map it just like how we have mapped in this all right this is all about the bidirectional in one-to-one -one mapping and in the next video we will cover the bidirectional in one-to-many mapping I will see you in the next video